Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maida and you're watching Maida Pores. Thank you so much for joining me today. If it's your first time here, you are very welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, well, thank you so much for coming back. It is so nice to see you again. So for today's pour, what are we doing? As you can see, I have a lot of very bright and vibrant colors here. These are all Liquitex and Artist Loft paints. These are all mixed two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and then I did put a dash of Liquitex pouring medium in each cup, along with a few drops of water to thin it down. All of these paints are a little bit, I would say, thicker than my normal um, kind of consistency, but they are thin, they are very fluid, but they do leave kind of when they first hit the cup, a mound that then quickly dissipates into the cup. So hopefully you can see how these are hitting and what kind of mound they are creating. How do I help? How do I help you see this better? Okay. So that is how all of these are mixed and then I'll go over the specific colors as I'm pouring them into my cup here. So I still haven't answered what type of pour I'm doing, although it's probably on the title of this video. So, uh, big shockeroni, we are doing a flop cup. So, not a flip cup, a flop cup. So, I've never done one, never even tried one, only been watching some videos that look like a lot of fun. I am very attracted by sort of the vibrant color palette I'm seeing in them and just sort of how those colors are like moving and mixing together on the canvas. So, I'm like, we are trying one today. It is Saturday, it is my painting day, and we're doing a flop cup. So, we're gonna see. So I'm gonna start with my orange here. I'm a little scared starting with orange, but we're doing it. And I'm gonna be pouring these down the side of my cup. I think I'm gonna be doing two layers. Um, I don't plan on using all of the paints because I did mix up actually quite a few. I have another painting in mind, or if this first flop cup doesn't work out, you know, we'll try a second one. <laughs> I gave myself some insurance and, oh dear, no. Okay, it's fine. Drips happen, especially when you're a fluid artist. <laughs> Let's get that on camera. So this is already getting pretty full, just with one layer. I really went like all the colors of the rainbow in this one. I just, it's been a long time since I have um, kind of done a really bright rainbow type of pour, with especially with like just using like my Liquitex and Artist Loft paints, which I do love my Liquitex and my Artist Loft paints. They are what I started using when I first started pouring, and they are just great, in my opinion. They are great, kind of basic starter, um, like a decent price point, good quality for the price point, and really nice colors. I like the colors, so. I'm filling this to the very top. The very top. I have not filled a cup up to the very top and I think ever. It might not even be a good idea to fill a cup up to the very top, but you know what? Living on the edge today. Okay, let's get these out of the way. Okay. There we go. <laughs> One very full rainbow cup. I'm gonna get my canvas. I am reusing a canvas, um, but I'm gonna get it out and let's get to painting. <sighs> okay, so obviously I've painted on this canvas before, but uh, anyway, I'm not in love with this painting, so I'm going to be pouring over it. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna start with this Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. I'm kind of using this as a base or a cushion. I'm not gonna completely cover the canvas. I'm gonna leave it to still tilt out. I don't know, we'll see how it all goes. So, but I'm gonna use most of this right here. And I am gonna like, just kinda give my flop cup, 
Oop, I just knocked the camera. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, kind of that cushion too, or that base. Oh, I feel like I might need more. But I have so much paint in my cup, so <laughs> I think I'll be fine covering the canvas. Okay. Again, I've never done a pour like this. I have no idea. So let's do this. Wish me luck. So the idea is we flop it out instead of, you know, flipping it out. So that's my flop. And now, do I torch it now? I guess I'm gonna torch. And I am gonna tilt. So obviously I need to tilt this out to cover my canvas. I'm going to kind of reach out and stretch over this corner first up here, fully covered. Or, you know, make sure that it's gonna be fully covered before I tilt too much off. So I'm kind of doing more of a swirl all around. So I'm getting a few cells, I, and you know me, I love my cells, so, you know, we're fine with that. <laughs> I'm gonna go over this corner first. I mix my paints a little bit thicker than I normally do, and I feel like it's kind of really slow sliding, but that is perfectly normal with slightly thicker paints. Okay, I am going to now bring it on down. I am really, this is one of the reasons why I just really wanted to try this technique is I just loved how vibrant and really bold the colors were, but there were still really cool like mixings together. <laughs> mixings, is that a technical word? Yes, that is a technical term, mixings together. The Artist Law Flow Acrylic White, which I do have a little bit of here. So I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna put it over this corner just to help it fully flow over this last edge. Also, whoop, that corner too. So, I'm gonna turn this canvas just so I can really get it tilting at like kind of the right angle and also maybe have you still see it a little bit. <laughs> I don't know, sorry if it's out of uh, camera. I'm liking the cells though. You know me, I love my cells. So I'm, I'm never like, unhappy when cells pop up out of my pictures. Does that make sense? Like, I'm never like, oh no, cells. <laughs> I'm always like, sweet, I got a few. I like them, they're cool. <laughs> but everyone has their own taste, so. Um, which is what makes this art so fun because everyone gets to put their own kind of tilt on it, you know? Like everyone has their own techniques and styles. I'm just going, going going for the basics here. Going for like a rainbow Skittles type of a vibe here. <laughs> what inspired you to do this piece? Oh, rainbow Skittles, now that you mention it. <laughs> and really close. And then I'm gonna do another torch and we're gonna take a look and really assess like how we know what's happening here. I'm thinking of doing something I have not done in a very long time, but it's always fun to do. Just because I have these spaces. Sorry, I start with a flop cup and I turn it into a flop cup silicone flick because that's what I'm thinking about right now. I'm thinking of doing a silicone flick on this painting. So what is a silicone flick, you might ask? Um, it's actually kind of a way that I do enjoy incorporating silicone in my pieces sometimes, where I want to get a few pops of like kind of cell action on the painting. And I don't like mixing silicone in all of my paints because I just don't. But sometimes I do like to flick it on my painting. So we're gonna do it. So all I did was I'm using this all temp silicone three in one. And I just put a little bit on top of a popsicle stick. Um, this is dry paint on this popsicle stick. Anyway, and I'm just going to kind of take it and I'm just gonna like kind of flick just 
in like a couple of spots and I'm not going to do too much. So of course I'm tempted to do more because I'm always tempted to do more. And I do, I wanna see some in here. I wanna see some of my, those cool cells in there and you know, we'll see. So I'm gonna squeeze just a drop. So I'm just gonna do one flick, kinda, of, I don't think you can even see I'm right here. One flick right there. And you don't see it immediately, but they start to pop up. Go ahead and torch. I'm going to see if these, what happens, will come back in a minute and I will be taking you in for a close up. Okay, and I would say that this is done. It's been sitting here a minute. I always like to let my painting sit for a few moments before I bring you guys in for a close up just to make sure that it's developed as it's going to develop, you know. Um, I love the bright and vibrant juicy fruit colors or fruit stripe gum colors of this piece. Um, I hope you had as much fun watching me make this as I did pouring it. I am going to go ahead and bring you in for a close up, but please do hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy watching videos like this, um, please consider subscribing. By videos like this, I mean acrylic paint pouring videos because that is what I do here. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon so YouTube tells you when I post a new video. I am gonna bring you in for a close up, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Okay, so let me bring you in here and really show you what's going on. So you can tell where I flicked the silicone versus sort of what just formed by like the density paint interactions. Um, this is a silicone cell cluster. <laughs> and I love this one over here. It's really fun. It reminds me almost of like, I don't know, kind of like little seeds. I don't know. I like it. When I use it, I always enjoy it. It's not my go-to technique, but here and there, it's always fun to play. It's always fun to play. It kind of has sort of an outer space vibe to me, but I don't know if outer space is the right word, but it's fun and it looks like, you know, there's just a lot of stuff kind of happening. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. So I'm doing something that I don't normally do, which is actually bringing you in for a close up after my painting has fully dried. So this painting is completely dry. I feel like it is still very vibrant. That I attribute to the Liquitex because if you just use only Floetrol, it's definitely gonna dry a lot matter. But what I really wanna show you is in here with these um, cells I created with the silicone, they're really not greasy or oily at all. There's no residue left with um, that brand of silicone I use. And that might have a lot to do with my climate. I don't know. But other silicones I've used definitely use or leave a really greasy residue. So I always come back to this one because I don't have that issue with it. Um, I do still clean off the canvas before I finish it just to be safe. But it's never a hassle. So <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you the dried results. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.